My name is Garrett Fulmer. I'm in the class 2023. I'm a catcher. I go to Spartanburg High School. For my summer team, I play for the South Charlotte Panthers, and I'm committed to the Citadel. The age I got into baseball was probably around four to six years old. Um, I just love the game and everything about it. I love the competition. Always trying to beat somebody, that's just who I am. And I just love the game. I chose the Citadel because it was just the best fit for me. Um, I have family that went there, cousins, elders, you know, it's just always been my family. And it was just felt like a great fit for me. I feel like I'm gonna embrace the challenge, the everyday challenge, what comes with it. And the baseball program, I love the field. I love the Charleston, great city. Um, it has a great feel to it. Overall, I just felt like it, it was the best fit for me. The recruiting process was pretty um, pretty good. First came in contact during quarantine. We're talking off and on about three times a month, kept in touch, sending them videos. Once Dead Peter was there, we came to a couple of my games, and then he offered me, waited a little bit and committed. Um, but overall, it was just good. Um, that's pretty much it, you know. It was just, a, you have to keep in contact with them and just keep them updated and just keep in contact and keep calling them and stuff. So that's basically it.
just keep working hard, grind, send emails to colleges you want to go to, follow them on Twitter, see when the camps are, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, get videos you run in, hitting on the field. It's better to get videos on the field and in the cages you can see the ball flight and where it goes. It's good to get numbers, exit velo, arm, arm action, all that kind of stuff, speed. And it's really good to go to a, like a, a baseball factory, PBR, perfect game event. I didn't go to one. I went to an impact one and I went to a scout cast with the Canes. But as long as you just stay in the loop with all that, with perfect game and all that, go to a thing there and that's pretty much it. I just play, I just play the game. That's what I do. Um, there's never been pressure with the game for me. I just love the game and go out there and play. Have fun while I'm doing it. If you're not having fun, then I don't really see the point of it. I don't feel like it should be too much pressure on it. Um, I still take, I take it serious at the same time, but you know, I just do it for fun and work hard at it. And I'm doing this and I want only the best I can be at it. I don't want to just play and just kind of work every once in a while. I'm gonna work hard and give it all I got, but at the same time have fun while I'm doing it. I'm gonna start out with a weakness. I feel like my weakness as a player is definitely my speed. As a catcher, that's okay, but at the same time, I need to get my speed up. And for uh, strength, I feel like I'm definitely on the defensive side of the ball. I feel like I can be a good solid catcher, try to still make balls look like strikes to help my team win. Somebody throw, throw somebody out when I need to. Um, as long as I'm solid back there, the bat's gonna be a plus, that's my mindset. And also another thing is being a good teammate, encouraging my teammate. I'm always gonna care and love my, my teammates, like a brother, and uh, always encouraging them to have their backs. That's pretty much it. My top three favorite players in order is Yadi Molina, Mike Trout, and Christian Yelich. Uh, Yadi Molina, obviously, because I'm a key catcher. I try to emulate my game after him. He's just very smooth. 
love the way he just has a feel for a game that can't be taught. I just love to watch him just do his work and Mike Trout because you know he just has a really good smooth swing. I like how he stays in the middle of the field, he uses the whole field. Christian Elk's pretty much the same thing, he uses the same field. He'll he'll run into a few balls, but he's mostly a gap to gap guy. That's what I feel like I am for the majority of the time. Um, those three guys, I just really try to watch them closely and see how they do on and off the field. Superstition for baseball games, I usually on the summertime. School ball is different because you know you gotta be at school to be at the field. Summer ball, I always stop by the gas station and get a peach mango bang, um, a purple Powerade Zero, and one of them small pack 35 cent. It's like that green gum. I don't, I think it's called winter green or something like that. I don't know, but that shit in between every single bat, I get a piece of gum and get a new piece. That's just what I do every game. College, my major. I'm thinking about being a business, a business guy, a business degree. Um, my dad's in the business, so he's an insurance agent, and I just feel like that's a good fit for me. You can do a lot of stuff with that degree, but another another thing I don't like, I would like to be outside doing work. I don't want to be inside all day, so we'll just have to see where it goes. But I still got time to decide. I got to keep my options open. Today was a good day. We started out in the cages, got some front toss, got loose, got the body loose, got the body flowing, blood flowing. Moved out to the field, worked in some overhand, BP kind of stuff. Got about, it's about 100, 150 hacks. Tried some different bats, some grips, different kind of stuff there. Then moved to, straight into defense, different catching drills, some blocking drills, footwork, transfers, you name it. Then worked on throwing some bags, you know, getting the arm loose, getting the wing loose. Um, ran over to the gym, got some good work, working, um, hit mobility today, and did some cardio type of stuff, no, nothing real heavy today. Just kind of did more uh, high reps, low weight today. Just kind of take it easy, little, little rest day. Um, that's what a day in life me looks like. All right, guys, if you entered into the custom bat giveaway on Ned's video uh, two weeks back and you followed all the rules and commented on the video, you are entered into this competition and let's go ahead and pick a winner. All right, if that is you, please find a way to get in contact with me, comment down below, um, and also try to message me on social media, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, and I will get the bat to you. Thanks guys for entering, 
and good luck on the next uh, giveaway.